everyone. Today I'm with a very special guest and my best friend here on this platform. Well, her channel's name is The Beauty Breakdown. Yep, The Beauty yeah. Breakdown. As soon as new product comes out, you can already see it on her channel. <laughs> I try, I try. <laughs> we filmed a collaboration on her channel, which is... The top five favorite skincare products. And it's great because we both had different skin types. Mm -hmm. So there's all kinds of recommendations to cover all the different skin types you might have. Today on our channel, we're going to address our top five Korean cushion products for you guys. Yep. Okay. This cushion foundation is my all-time favorite cushion foundation. I guess it's technically not Korean. It is the YSL Encre de Po cushion foundation. It is like my go-to when I want my skin to look pristine cushion foundation. <laughs> they offer a good amount of shades, which is nice. If I don't want to think about what I want, you know, on my skin, I just grab that cushion. It's, it's beautiful. beautiful. It's so light. It it's has good so coverage, light. natural finish. Natural finish. And it works well, I guess, on all skin types, so. And I guess it's kind of practically Korean because it is manufactured in yeah, Korea. That's true, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I think I have, like, a dupe for that. It is the Moonshot mm. Micro Fit Cushion. Mm. I was actually hunting down a dupe for YSL product because I loved it so much but I'm not going to spend 40 bucks for a refill that's only going to last like two months max. So this kind of fell into that kind of same natural sheen like healthy complexion yeah. and also it has like a decent coverage but it's never too cakey. Yeah. Enhances your skin texture yeah. with a beautiful way so I think in terms of the finish and the consistency it's very much similar to the YSL cushion and it's just the fraction of the price. It is. I've tried this and I actually do really like it. Yeah. It's also really great at layering. Oh yeah. So it's one of those cushion foundations you can kind of add on to it if you're not happy with the coverage mm -hmm. and it doesn't really cake. I mean you can definitely cake it up if you really layer it on but it doesn't cake up too easily. It dries down to normal to semi-matte yeah. so it's not completely matte. My second favorite cushion foundation is the Amore Pacific Color Control Cushion oh Foundation. Oh so You're going like luxury brand. I'm a budget girl. I love saving money and I like finding alternatives. Foundations are something that like you really have to have a good product to really like it. That's so true. And for some reason, it's just like the higher end I tend to gravitate towards because yeah. it looks really good and it makes all the difference. So the more Pacific one is also accessible in the United States, which is why I mention it. And it also has five shades. So for those of you guys yeah. who are sensitive to fragrances, it is heavily fragranced. Um, but it just looks so natural. It's yeah. beautiful. The undertones are very natural as well. Mm. It's not very like, you know, super yellow based. It's not super pink based like a lot of cream yeah. foundations tend to go for. If you're willing to shell it out and try it it's a great cushion foundation and I highly recommend it that's the cushion that you want to go for if you're going for that um, no makeup makeup yeah look. I have another one from the Amore Pacific group this is called Lyricos marine collagen cushion moisture so this is the more matte version so if you do have oily skin this is perfect for you guys I went through probably three of this um, last summer the navy case is the marine collagen cushion it's beautiful and it's more nourishing and moisturizing so that's more catered towards drier skin type like okay. you and I think Lyricos has like probably the best cushion out of the entire Amore Pacific brand really yeah mm -hmm. so if you do have bigger pores you want to smooth that out right yeah but you don't want to blur that out to the point where it kind of looks like too unnatural mm. but this does a really really good job at just making your skin like photoshopped in a very very natural way has a decent coverage never kicks up I need to try this because I saw you have made a whole video on this and this mm. is like your favorite cushion foundation right yeah okay is. I need to try it and it's the Hera UV mist okay cushion in ultra moisture oh my god oh, ultra moisture ultra moisture okay. is what I go for it adheres well to mm. the skin offers good coverage mm. but it has that like really beautiful Hera scent to it I personally really like it it's just kind of like the experience of using a Hera product I just mm. It's so good. <laughs> I like this because it offers that semi-matte, natural looking finish, but it doesn't leave my skin mm -hmm. dry at the end of the mm -hmm. day. So it consistently keeps my skin moisturized, mm -hmm. which is something that's really hard for me to find because I do get the patches, especially in my mm -hmm. forehead area yeah. around my nose. It just starts to patch up yeah. and I'm just like, ooh, at the yeah. end of the day. So that's an another point that I like okay. about the hair cushion. A Tude House AC Cleanup Mild BB Cushion. So this is specifically designed for acne prone mm. skin types. It doesn't have any pore clogging 
interesting ingredient which I really do appreciate because sometimes when you wear foundation for a certain amount of time your skin gets a little bit suffocated it congests so, it yeah it congests congested. but I never experienced that kind of heavy and like I want to take off my foundation immediately kind of feeling with this foundation at all so it's super duper comfortable mm -hmm. on your skin a lot of people say it doesn't have a lot of coverage yeah. because a lot of acne prone skin have a lot of spots that they want to cover so layer this mm -hmm. all over your face and then go with a concealer on top of the spots that you need to correct so I think it's a really good base like your skin loves it so this one I feel guilty bringing up because I know you had issues with this okay but what I is it <laughs> is it April skin no it's not because okay. I don't like April skin either okay we don't like April skin <laughs> no too heavy <laughs> the Laneige BB oh, pore control cushion okay. and I know it's because you had issues with it yeah. breaking you out yeah it yeah did. it's like a good light to medium coverage yeah, it's nice it on actually. your skin it sits well it really does kind of control the oil even though I have dry skin my skin still produces oil throughout the day so by the mm -hmm. end of the day if I don't set it with a powder I don't like to look oily still so it's kind of good at holding its own mm -hmm. on your skin throughout the day you, I heard this from you and I heard this from a lot of other people who've tried the older version and the newer version yeah. The older version doesn't break people no. out, which is weird. I don't know what they would add in the formula. We can only speak from our own experience. Yeah. Me personally, I really like the cushion foundation. I think it's a beautiful cushion foundation. It's also kind of more accessible for mm. a lot of people. Misha Kumsol Tension Pack. Mm. So this is technically not a cushion compact. So it has like a tension netting in it. Okay. Let's oh, see. it's so pretty. And underneath this mesh, it has the cream foundation. And I did actually film a video on this product as well as the original tension pack when that was released. It falls into that perfectly natural kind of sand base. Okay, yeah. Yeah, kind of beige -y. Yeah. Kind of That's underneath. what I have to go for too. Looks very, very natural on warm skin tone. Like Misha doesn't compromise when it comes to coverage. Mm -hmm. So they have awesome coverage and it's super duper lightweight and it just sticks to your skin like it's absorbing it. It's like a magnetic feeling. So yeah. as soon as you kind of dab the sponge, it's already there and it just doesn't cake up. Kind of dries down to semi-matte finish. It's a pretty decent product that kind of blew me away. It has like a lot of anti-aging skincare mm. ingredients. So if you look at the ingredient list, you might be kind of confused. Is this a skincare product or a makeup product? So my last one is also from Misha and it Ooh. is the, yes. <laughs> the Misha M Magic Cushion. Oh yeah, I like it too. I really like it. Um, I like that it has high coverage and it has super high coverage. Yeah. Like you literally put put one puff yeah. on your face like whoa. Yeah. Good coverage. It has a semi-matte finish which it sounds like you and I are kind of gravitating towards mm. a semi-matte natural look. Also the undertone of the Magic M, M Cushion to me is very natural looking on my mm. skin. It feels really lightweight on the skin considering it is such a high coverage cushion foundation. It's not like the April skin where it's like high coverage yes but it also feels like you got a mask like and makeup. One, yeah, one inch of makeup. <laughs> yeah, it's, it lasts all day and I just, it's super affordable too. Oh my gosh, it's like super cheap considering like how much cushion yeah. foundations cost. So I think Misha is like really good at making BB creams mm -hmm. and cushions and foundations. So this is technically not a oh, Korean okay. product. But, but I think it's made in Korea. This is the L'Oreal Lumi cushion. Actually more good made me <laughs> buy this. I love, 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 love this. If you don't want to wear a lot of makeup but you still want that decent kind of evening out the complexion this is the one that I'll go for and it just feels so comfortable on your skin I wouldn't say the longevity is impressive yeah. but I would say the way it kind of wears off is very natural it doesn't have like patches missing and then gets in your pores yeah, yeah. it doesn't I accentuate agree. the pores yeah. or anything. the kind of natural sheen it gives me is like very like healthy looking it's a very like kind of with beauty like glow from within kind of look I don't know how they do it and this is kind of like the only cushion that I can think of that really has that appearance where it looks like your skin's just healthy underneath yeah. of it it's good for those of you guys who like maybe you're just starting out with makeup or you don't want to have like the super heavy feel mm -hmm. or maybe it's kind of like you know you're just running around don't want yeah. to throw on too much makeup that's kind of what it's awesome for so I hope you guys enjoyed let me know what your favorite holy grail cushion product is down below in the comment box and don't forget to check out Morgan's channel because we filmed a very fun Korean skincare favorites and all that stuff so <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet don't forget to do so subscribe. by <laughs> clicking the red button and I'll speak to you guys soon Bye. <laughs> How long do I feel your heart? An hour apart And it's just as hard How long do I feel your heart? Oh, I need to know Why I can't let 
you go.